Hi, Vinny. Thank you so much for having me on your Analyst Cam segment. Um, I'm uh, Meredith Flynn Ripley, and I am the Senior Vice President of our CRM Product Growth Group, as well as GM of Vaccine Cloud. And excited to share with you uh, the story behind the Salesforce's role in vaccine management transformation. So, Meredith, thank you for coming on. You know, Salesforce has been very impressive in the last year with work.com and a bunch of other vertical offerings. So I'm excited to hear about this. Well, I'm excited to tell you. And before I tell you, <laughs> I do wanna make it clear that uh, there will be some forward looking statements in this document and please make all purchase decisions based on currently available product. And I promise you that is my one and only lawyer <laughs> <impersonation>. <laughs> Um So, uh, you know, I'm really honored and humbled to be involved in all of the efforts around vaccinations from Salesforce because it really represents and epitomizes our culture and our commitment to um, making this world a better place and using businesses as a platform for that change. And when, when COVID hit last year, um, we really galvanized across the company. And this is sharing with you um, some of the things that Salesforce has done you know, immediately our uh, business development executives and all of our partnerships and alliances people, uh, teams went out and we ended up sourcing over 60 million PPP, PPE items. Um, our contact tracing solutions with which we launched in a matter of six weeks um, are now protecting over 200 million people uh, around the globe right now. And as a product executive, you know, it really is fascinating. This has all been using the power of the Salesforce platform to really deliver agile products. No one in the product team in early February had even heard about or known what contact tracing was. Right. And yet we delivered this full featured application. Uh, when it comes to the vaccine cloud, we have over 150 customers. These are uh, state, local, national, federal government uh, organizations, as well as healthcare providers. Um, that are enabling vaccine distribution using our platform. And that's what I'm gonna touch on in a lot more detail right now. And talking about the agility of the platform, it, it, our customers are deploying in a matter of days or weeks, uh, these systems. And certainly I think you can see here, we'll, we've pledged over $4 million uh, dollars in really enforcing and trying to promote equitable access to the vaccines, to underserved populations around the globe. We're extremely proud of our partnership with Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, which is powered by the Salesforce platform. It's a consortium that is pledged to deliver over 2 billion vaccinations to low-income and middle-income countries around the world, and they are well on their way. From a, from a product perspective, you know, this all started with Salesforce Care. This is when we quickly launched free customer and um, employee help desks so that our customers could help communicate to their constituents how to handle COVID, what were the safety protocols through help desks and bots. We then evolved that into the work.com initiative, a, a series and a portfolio of applications around how to really reopen your workplace, which of course is happening on a much different timeline, but is now really coming to the forefront as the vaccines are getting out there, employees are being vaccinated and people are planning to come back to work. Or we have many customers who, who were always uh, bringing their employees into work or sending them out in the field with a mobile workforce. And- Meredith, Niracha was on the show in June last year and she had given me a preview of all this. So it's good to see you guys have delivered on all of this. And you know, now, like you say, people going back to work, work done, Work.com is really going to kick in. Exactly, exactly. And from a, a vaccine perspective, you know, we're we're really focused on managing vaccines equitably. And in fact, made a recent million-dollar donation to two organizations that will help enable getting those vaccines into the underserved communities. So when you think about the the vaccine imperative, and right now it has been predominantly about getting that vaccine into people. Um, getting those authorized vaccines and getting the population vaccinated, there are a lot of challenges. First and foremost, communications. There's a lot of education required. Um, not everyone wants to have a vaccination. And so there's equally uh, you know, a big imperative to actually help people understand 
um, and, and really understand how a vaccine can help them. Um, the equity that we talked about, the logistics, scheduling obviously is a big part of this. Uh, and you know, people are, are willing to take any time and availability right now. Compliance, the monitoring, all of the people management, the training of the staffing. Um, and so there's a lot of challenges here that really Salesforce went out into the field, talked to our customers, and we officially launched Vaccine Cloud earlier this year, which is really a composable architecture looking at the power of the platform, delivering prepackaged components um, that cover all of these general tasks when it comes to getting a person vaccinated. And of course, because it's on the power of the platform, you're talking about the scale, the speed, you know, the agility that you need. Um, because this really is a, a customer base that has a very customized need. And so we have many components that our customers can choose from. Meredith, so the president said 100 million yesterday. He said 100 million and he raised the bar to 200 million. Are you tracking how many you've been involved with Salesforce has touched in some way? We do track that and we report that back to our customers, but that's not data that we're sharing okay. uh, at large right now, but we, we do share it on a customer by customer basis. So you'll see that when we talk about the state of uh, the city of New York, which is one of our customers, we've enabled over 650,000 vaccinations um, over the course of the last two months. So we will be releasing it with customer permission on a customer by customer basis. Um, okay. California is another customer that we have delivered over 12 million vaccinations uh, to citizens in the state of California right now. So the, the scale and the impact is, is pretty remarkable. Um, and we've learned a lot along the way, along with our customers who may not have been um, as technically astute to understand you know, when you're opening up and doing that press conference or someone posts a link on Facebook, you may think that your citizen base is a certain number but it actually gets expanded because when it's posted, everyone is trying to schedule right now, maybe people that aren't even in a particular county. Um, so I it, like- it has, been, it has been somewhat chaotic, right? I mean, I live in Florida and it just every state seems to have had some issues, but we are ahead of the world. So we must be doing something right. And this really, the silver lining in all of this is that it has, accelerated the adoption of digital technologies and digital transformation. Um, some analysts are saying this is accelerating it by seven or eight years. And so this has been a learning curve to many people in the healthcare industry. I would say it also applies to our commercial and private sector citizens who had to react very quickly. Um, and, and it's really created and given the freedom for our customers to be entrepreneurial, which is, which is very exciting to really you know, adapt and welcome these new technologies. But there, there are hiccups along the way in any digital transformation, particularly one that's under such a fast timetable. Our customers are launching in average in three weeks. Um, in fact, we even have uh, Louisville, Kentucky, one of our customers, and, and they have publicly acknowledged that they went from consumption to launch within eight days. So these timeframes are, are really you know, very impressive and reflect such a big change. Everything is happening faster and there's automation in everything to make it so much more scalable. So I like this slide because the vaccine cloud management is a journey. It's a journey that takes a lot of paths and a lot of steps along the way. And it is different for our three customer bases. When we think about who is using vaccine cloud today, it is the health authorities. These are the governments, you know, national, state, local. It's healthcare providers, the people who are actually putting the vaccinations uh, into people's arms. And then it's organizations, really employers that have a global need. And, and we'll touch a little bit on, you know, what we're seeing within the, the uh, organization and the private sector around the need, not just to engage with their customers, but engage with their employees in new ways. So it, it starts, with this education, uh, you know, personalized journeys from marketing cloud, it gets into vaccine inventory management that has been one of the biggest challenges um, because you can schedule, but if you don't have enough inventory to schedule, that's gonna put you in a bad position. The appointment scheduling. And so this is all about building trust and uh, in the vaccinations within the community for citizens. And even we see um, private sector 
companies educating around the, to their employees about the opportunities for vaccination, even incenting employees uh, for vaccinations. We see that happening in the hospitality arena, in the uh, food and retail arena as well. Um, the second phase is actually the vaccination process. So the administration, the training of the personnel, um, and then actually monitoring and tracking, providing the digital health credential, which the state will be and the local, the state in the US is going to be the, the source of truth for that uh, vaccination verification. Um, medically monitoring any kind of outcome with surveys. And then the command center is really an extension of what we in initially rolled out with work.com that lets you track and see all of the activity from a COVID testing status to now a vaccination status, which is almost entirely employee opt-in right now. But again, we're seeing employers provide incentives. And then it really, this, this new phase that we're operating in is all about decisions and, uh, and operating in the new normal with data. So vaccine verification, we're, we're seeing a trend right now where employers are being asked to make sure that they're sending vaccinated employees on site to customer locations. So how are you going to get that data and then operate your business in this new normal? So a little bit more of a dive here, you know, we've got these uh, functions for the health authorities around operational insights. We have the healthcare providers all around the actual vaccination process. And then for the commercial sector, it's about the vaccine verification. And then how am I gonna operate my business? Um, you know, How am I going to actually help them uh, provide uh, the right tools to, to basically create trust within their employee base and then deliver on the needs of their customers? So because of the power of the platform, um, it's a very composable architecture and we have customers that are taking all components some components, right? All of those steps along the journey that we just spoke about. Important to realize is in all of this, it's about engagement and automation. And so any one of these steps, we can turn into a self-service experience either in a web portal or through a bot. And, and so you're really looking in the case of public sector and healthcare, you know, it's all about this pre-registration, the digital intake contactless check-in you know, it's the community education uh, campaigns and it's reminders. I think people only think about the reminder when you're, it's time, you know, your appointment is coming up, please uh, don't miss it. But there is a huge aspect to education, particularly when you think about the equitable um, access initiative that we're very much behind. Um, and so you know, I, I would love to share with you a, one of our customer examples. I mentioned this, this is the, the city of New York. It's actually um, my hometown, so it's lovely to be able to help uh, a place that has a lot of my family and friends right now. And in the case of, of New York City, we actually were brought in very quickly um, uh, to replace another vendor and launched in, in a matter of days. And it, it really is an end-to-end -end case management system built on our GovCloud, um, and it is distributing you know, over 650,000 vaccines um, in just the two months that it has been live. Um, we're very proud about the fact that when you look at the timeline around a citizen's, um, the time it takes for a citizen to schedule an appointment, it's typically three minutes or less. And this is because one of the aspects of our technology platform enables people to approach scheduling in an asynchronous way. And so not everybody has to schedule their appointment immediately. And we're providing out of the box tools to make it easier for customers uh, to basically be notified as opposed to having someone sit in front of a screen and wait for an availability, which is one of the things that we, we continue to see and hear about. Um, this is just once one of our customers. This is, I mean, three, three and a half minutes is fantastic. I've heard of hours, you know, people waiting for hours, right? It was chaotic and it said so. This right. Is yeah. So one of the key things behind this stat is the way that we're approaching it, which is in some of our states. And this is where you're putting your name in, you're pre-registering, but then when, it, when there's the availability, when you're in the right category to receive the vaccination, you'll get sent a personalized link via SMS or email. And this is personalized so that it can't be shared. Um, and so you can't game the system. You can't you know, send it to 50 people that may not be in that category and have the ability to schedule. And I would say we're, we're extremely proud to have our Office of Ethical and Humane Use uh, being at, playing an active role in our product development process. They really help us build the product and the features um, to make sure that we are approaching this the right way. So 
um, you know, some other customers that we can, that we've announced that we've talked about um, are Penn State Health, which is in the, in the Philadelphia area. They're serving 29 counties. Um, I've mentioned California, uh, Louisville, um, and certainly through Tableau, you know, we are monitoring the vaccination distribution and making that actionable data that you can apply to your citizen base in context of your citizen base or your employee base. Um, and that is serving and covering more than 245 million people. So the numbers are staggering. Uh, I just wanna to touch on how, again, think about our composable architecture and the power of the platform and these uh, modules that we've built or more out of the box automation uh, and capabilities. You know, this is the, what it looks like for Vaccine Cloud for the commercial uh, private sector arena, where you have really two emerging groups of customers one, where you have a set of customers or partners where the COVID status verification becomes really important. So think about the airlines, uh, think about hotels. Um, you, know, you have uh, companies like Live Nation who've announced that they'll only have vaccinated people attend their concerts. Um, you know, it's interesting, we've even seen just yesterday Rutgers University announced that students will have to prove their vaccination in order to start school in the fall. So you know, you, you're going to be getting into this digital credentialing uh, capability that of course will go well beyond uh, the vaccine use case. And so Salesforce is uh, a critical engagement layer that lets our customers of, of all types adopt and deliver that verification that's so needed. And it is about safety and compliance. It is about health and wellness when it comes to the employee side. And certainly we have a great platform and a set of products through work.com in this space with the command center um, that we're expanding with wellness and certainly you know, our attestation surveys for contact tracing and managing employees back into the buildings is now augmented with the vaccine status but, uh, verification capabilities. And again, you've got all of the engagement and automation layer um, turning this into as much of a self-service and automated uh, experiences as possible. And by the way, that's what people prefer, right? We all prefer to self-serve to get that information quickly. Um, so it, you know, it really is a changing world of business and it, it's critical that you're gonna adapt uh, and meet the needs of your customers and your partners and employees. So this, this really represents the next evolution of Vaccine Cloud from just getting those vaccines distributed um, and getting people vaccinated into running the new normal uh, for your business and you know, talking to the healthcare experts in the space, the, the vaccine part of this is unfortunately not going away. Um, this is, we, we should, Dr. Agus uh, told us last week in a uh, Salesforce venue that we should all expect variant boosters. We're all thinking right now about getting our first or our second vaccination, um, but this is going to be the new norm. And so solutions are needed really for years to come in terms of delivering on both the premise of, of getting someone vaccinated on an ongoing basis, but also all of the capabilities about running your business and engaging with your customers and your and your partners. You know, I'm, I'm, go ahead. I was gonna so, say, Workday briefed me on, the, on their vaccine solution and they were focused, they're focused much more on what you call your third, you know, the third column you had, much more employee centric, but it's good to see folks like you and what they jump up, right? A lot of vendors are still trying to sell what they had in January, 2020. We need a bunch more telemedicine, vaccine management, you know, a whole bunch of stuff that became urgent in the pandemic, so. It, it, it really is the silver lining in all of this, Vinny, in that all of our customers in all sectors are adopting these new technologies that will be the foundation for how they interoperate and deliver services and market and sell to their customers long-term. Um, and, and of course, when it comes to Salesforce, Vaccine Cloud is, is no different in the fact that we have a, a large ecosystem and our partners play a critical role in the deployment of these services to our customer base. And so here are some of our announced and, and really premier vaccine cloud success partners from Accenture to Deloitte, IBM, Infosys, Slalom, uh, Silverline. And of course we do have ISV partners as well that have components that are also part of 
the vaccine cloud um, implementations that we're seeing because there is a need for you know custom work and and you know this is an open open infrastructure right you know we are built on apis and allowing our customers to um, build the systems that are the easiest for them to deploy quickly and easily and meet their needs So that's a very quick overview of Vaccine Cloud. And um, you know, I'm, as I said, it's, there's a, a, an a incredible team behind delivering on everything that we just shared right now. And you know, it, it really is an amazing initiative to just see how we can actually make an impact in the world and really from a product and technology perspective, quickly build very specific applications to support this initiative, you know, we call it kind of a hyper relevant initiative. You know, in a time of need, we quickly assembled and were able to deliver um, and and meet our customers' vaccine vaccine management needs. I'm particularly excited that you're going after the public health approach. That has been a weak link throughout this whole process. So, um, you know, the testing was chaotic. The communication was chaotic. The original, you know, the early vaccine distribution didn't seem very organized. So I'm glad you're bringing some structure. Well, and I think it's really uh, an incredible moment for technology companies to step up and help in sectors that haven't been adopting technology at the pace of other industries. And so this is really an enterprise solution where companies of all shapes and sizes are coming to, together to deliver. On, uh, on a very critical need to get vaccines distributed. Meredith, this is fantastic. Thank you for your service. You know, I know citizens everywhere should be thankful. So on their behalf, appreciate you presenting. Thank you for having me, Vinny. And, and thank you for letting me tell the, the Salesforce vaccine management story. Um, there are a lot of great people behind it and we're all um, incredibly honored to, to help in this initiative.